hello guys this video is about how to solve this cause issue on your next.js application so if you like to know more about these kind of videos real-time practical full stack developer tutorials and problems and how to solve these problems those kind of videos please feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel saying that let's get started with this video so before i'm going further with the explanation i will tell you the context of uh, what i'm talking about so i'm trying to show you how i solved my course issue related to my next js project so this next js project is hosted on versal so the solution is basically uh, have tested on versal environment and when it comes to this project so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to do a si simple post request for the API which is hosted uh, also on my Next.js application. So as you can see, uh, my register page is uh, inside the pages folder and also I'm trying to access uh, uh, API endpoint which is also hosted on the uh, same Next.js projects under, under the API folder. So that's the context of my application. So the first uh, thing that I have done wrong is using these kind of uh, full context URLs so these are absolute URLs so that was a kind of mistake that I have been doing so you have to remove these uh, full context uh, absolute URLs and use relative URLs because this versal environment uh, catch up with these 3000 uh, endpoints localhost 3000 endpoints so you don't have want to add this so it's automatically taken from the environment and also about this slash the first slash of your url you have to remove that one so that's the first thing that i did to get uh, working or bypass this cause issue to fix this cause issue so i used uh, absolute urls relative urls to access the API which is hosted inside my Next.js application and also the next thing that I did so uh, it was not solved even after uh, using absolute URLs uh, even after using relative URLs uh, inside my Next.js project I had to move all my pages folder inside this is inside a folder called SRC so I had to create a folder called SRC and I moved all my pages and inside the pages you have your api folder as well so i had to move this pages folder inside the SR, src folder so after that only my versal environment started working properly so i don't know how it happens maybe that's related to how versal works uh, and i i found that solution by going through a github uh, thread so uh, there may be something uh, pretty straightforward working with this uh, Versal environment so guys if even after changing your absolute URLs to relative URLs like this even after that uh, your application didn't run or uh, ran, uh, or re redirected to a kind of uh, API or auth URL just add your all your pages folder inside a folder called src so that's the first part of my solution so it worked for me so when it comes to cause issue i i quickly fix this uh, cause issue after uh, removing all my uh, absolute urls and also after moving my pages folder to the src folder and so this solution is like if you are trying to access uh, the endpoints inside your own next js application guys so if like here you can see i have uh, created this sign up and everything inside this uh, next js api uh, in, inside the api folder but if you want another uh, if you like think if you want another website also to access this api folder right so in my case, I am I am going to access from this register file, which is also hosted in the uh, same port. Uh, but if you want to like try to access this API 
from another website from another Next.js application then you have to add this uh, I will show you in your next.config.js files you have to add this to your headers you have to add this uh, async headers function inside your next config object so I will show you where to get this uh, where to get this function quickly just open your browser and type uh, something like virtual cost so you get this uh, you are uh, this search results and here uh, you can have this how to enable cost in here in your next JS application they say you have to add this in your next.config.js file you can add this so from that by adding this one you the other uh, hosted front ends can also access your next.js api folder so if you want to uh, allow course for a separate path like api slash login something then you can uh, give different access for this uh, endpoint like if you want another kind of you know pricing if you want a different kind of uh, cost uh, allocation for the pricing endpoint you can change that one and you can add uh, different uh, cost options for different APIs likewise like this as I said this should be only added uh, this should be only added if you are if you want the other front ends to access your uh, next JS uh, APIs so most of the time I think you guys uh, are accessing your from your own front end to your to your own APIs like from your own front end from login you are going to access for your API so in that scenario you don't need uh, any of these uh, that those are the things that I learned recently in regard to next JS course issue hope you guys enjoyed it and please please if you have any questions just add it in your uh, in the comment section I'll be ready to help you guys out thank you very much have a nice day